let's take a look at our custom stain floor here, which is where we started out with custom orange. So we used Courtline's orange in our dry fast natural stain to, to make an orange backdrop for us here. Uh, whenever you're doing that, uh, we don't recommend any more than two ounces per quart or eight ounces of paint per gallon of stain. If you do use more than that, just understand that your, your mixture now is acting more like paint than stain. So then follow the court lines paint instructions, which include 24 hour dry time, and then abrade it with a maroon pad before you go ahead and put sealer paint or anything else over the floor. Also a best practice, even if we've got small designs like this that kind of go every which way, you know, you might think that you can take your brush or cutting pad or small roller and just follow the design. Always a best practice to go and go ahead and feather out with the grain. We don't want a chance that we're gonna leave any lines or striations in our paint, especially if we can do, you know, just a couple coats, be done, we got good coverage. I don't wanna come back and do a repair because I, I didn't feather right. Also, how does the surrounding colors, now it could be colors on my floor, it could be colors on the wall. How are they gonna affect how the colors might look on the floor? So this looks really nice and orange to me. And this might look nice and white to you on film, but from where I sit, there's definitely an orange cast to it. We know it's not coming up from underneath because the stain was uh, definitely fully dry. Got a couple coats of sealer on there, nothing coming up from underneath. We got plenty of white paint on there, but because I've got all this orange all around, it definitely has an orangish hue to me. Now, if we were to outline this in uh, like a navy blue or something else to get it that white a little further away from the orange, that might have taken care of it. But again, just understand how surrounding colors might influence what you or your customers see on the floor. So we hope those three tips, again, how do I make custom stains with Courtline's paint, feathering out with the grain is the best practice, and understanding how other colors in the room that uh, are by your paint might influence how that looks helps you guys make some uh, great designs for your customers.